In this video, we're going to look at how we will take 3D models that we've made in 3D Studio Max into Unreal. You can see here I've made two simple crates, one larger and one smaller that I have sitting on top of each other. What I want to do is go File, Export, and choose either Export or Export Selected. If you have a file that has multiple objects in it and you only want to export some, you want to export selected. If you want everything that's in your level, choose export. The file type we want to export to is .fbx. This is the Autodesk file type and it saves lots of different things including materials, uh, UV maps, and other stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and save this in my downloads folder. I'm going to call it crates2 because I've done a couple other ones. In 3ds Max there's a pop-up that asks us what we want to include. It's helpful sometimes to uncheck these things. For example, if there's audio or lights or cameras or animations that you don't want to go with it, you can uncheck those. If there are materials that you do want to go with it, you can choose embed media but for this example, I don't have materials. Often it's better to rebuild your materials in Unreal anyway. The rest of this is fine. I'm gonna click OK. And in my downloads folder, I should now have a file called crates2fbx. Just like with materials, Unreal lets us drag straight in here. And first I'm gonna make a folder called statics be my static meshes folder. You could also call it meshes if you want. And I'm going to drag this FBX file in. Now, unlike images, there are a bunch of options before we import. Unreal needs to know a couple things. First of all, it needs to know if it's a skeletal mesh. A skeletal mesh will have animations and bones. In this instance, it's not. Next, it wants to know if it should generate collision for us. I'm gonna say yes, I want them to be collidable. Most of this is hidden by default, but underneath this arrow is another important checkbox. This one right here, combine meshes. Now, if I want it so that I can move my two crates separately from each other, I don't want that clicked because in, in 3ds Max, these were separate objects. This is one object, box one, and this is the other object, box two, and they will be separate objects. If I click combine meshes, it will all come in as one object that I cannot move separately. Lastly, I have the scale options here. Sometimes my object is too big or too small. This is the only place we get to access this unless you want to scale it manually. If so, you have to delete your object and re-import it. I'm gonna try first with combine meshes and choose import. And you can see here, I have these two crates. I can bring them out and they don't yet have a material, but since I built a UVW map in Max, I can put a material on them and it'll look okay. I'm gonna choose concrete panels. Or pine wood. But as you can see, I can't move this separately. It's all attached. So I'm gonna go ahead and press delete and force delete this object. Notice it stayed in my level even though it doesn't exist anymore. So I'm going to delete the level object too. And I'm going to re-import it. This time, I'm going to leave combined meshes off. I'm also going to change their uniform scale, make it twice as big as I originally intended, because maybe I felt those crates were too small. Now I have crates 2 box 1 and crates 2 box 2. It grabs those names from the names they were called here in 3ds Max. I can rename them in Unreal though if I want. Each of them is now a separate box. I can make the stack like I liked. Notice that this one has its pivot set on the ground. I can also move them separately. This pivot is based on 
the origin in 3ds Max. If I want to fix that, one thing I can do is right click where I'd like the pivot to be on the object, or at least near it, and choose pivot, set pivot here snapped, and it will snap close to the bottom of the object. It's not perfectly lined up, but it's a little better. Now this will go away as soon as I select something else, unless I right click and again say pivot, and this time just say set as pivot offset. Now if I click something and click back, the pivot will remain there on its corner. You can solve pivot issues by making sure that your objects have useful pivots in 3ds Max before you export them to FBX.